Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone had an awesome Christmas and a good start to the new year. I know I did. I got a new mattress topper and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome to, to sleep on. Very, very comfy. I also got some new slippers, so I can't complain. So basically, we've spent kind of most of last year just working on different charcoal techniques. And seeing as though it is the new year, we're going to up the game a little bit and start using some masking techniques and incorporating different materials to achieve more of a mixed medium piece. So I've kind of pre-sketched out the image and I just put down a bit of masking tape over the outside line and just very, very, very lightly I, I cut along the line and that way I can peel off the excess tape which will give me a nice kind of background area to work on. You really have to be very careful with this, you know, as I am using paper. But uh, yeah, once you've kind of done that, then just go ahead and kind of mask off the kind of the image you want to kind of kind of keep clean your working space. In this case, I'm just using some A4 paper. But if you want, you can use some more elaborate materials. So when using spray paint, I do kind of recommend using a fat cat for this. I didn't have one, but just very, very, very lightly layer up the, the spray paint. You know, you don't want kind of heavy blotches on the canvas. And for the background, it's going to kind of just a wee bit kind of abstract. Uh, just putting down some yellows and a few kind of red splashes and I'll let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll go ahead with my markers and I'll start kind of putting down uh, in this case the lyrics of one of the famous tracks which is I can't get no sleep uh, Maxi just passed away there recently and he was the front man of Faithless so I thought kind of be cool to do a nice fearless piece if you do have a drip marker it would probably work best but uh, I'll start talking about that a wee bit more in kind of future videos but for now I'm just using a standard fat marker so once you're happy enough with your background go ahead then and peel off all the masking tape and what you should have is a nice background and a clean area to work on with the charcoal So, with the charcoal, I'm pretty much using every technique that I would have covered over the last year in all the previous videos. So, if you're kind of curious how I achieved these results, go back and have a look at some of the, the older videos. Uh, I do go into a lot of detail on different techniques you can use. Most of the techniques I'm using, it's pretty much just laying down solid charcoal and then just using the makeup brushes uh, to kind of blend it out. And then I'll come back later on and use some finger blending techniques just to get them really solid blacks. using a charcoal pencil here just for some of the more detailed areas and then I'll use a hard brush then to kind of smooth out that charcoal. It's a beautiful technique and you can really get some lovely results by using it. You can see 
see in the background there, or not the background, sorry, the black, it's not solid black, and that's because I use that as my palette. And uh, rather than kind of going back and forth getting charcoal dust, I just use that to kind of blend out the tones. And I'll go in then towards the end and just kind of make that a solid. A lot of work goes into producing a piece to kind of this standard and you can imagine if we were to start incorporating stencil work you're talking days and days or maybe not so much days but hours of kind of cutting out stencils to kind of layer up over it and that's why I kind of want to save them kind of videos maybe for a later stage because it does take a lot of work you know but in this video I'm pretty sure everyone can achieve these results, you know, it's very straightforward. Just take your time, maybe don't work to such a large scale, start with a smaller scale and kind of just, I don't know, just follow the videos and you should be able to get the same results. So as I would have explained in previous videos, I want this to look as dark as possible and what I'll do now in a few minutes is I will put a layer of graphite powder over everything which will make it look even darker and the reason why I do this is because now I want to start working backwards once I finish kind of doing some of the toner work. solid kind of areas will stay solid and the lighter kind of areas will be the areas in which I'm erasing from and you can see here now I'm just layering down that graphite powder just to make sure the whole canvas is covered and this is the fun part now and the whole image really starts to come to life like when it's starting getting all them white highlights and really I'm really focusing on contrast here you know I did explain in a, oh sorry, I did explain in a previous video how I go about kind of bumping up the contrast on my images, and I just use a photo editing software. In my case, I use Photoshop, and I just play around with the curves just to get that contrast I'm looking for. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% kind of following the image, but I'm just using that as a reference for tonal work. there now the image is really starting to take shape I'm so happy with how it's turning out those whites really make a difference now I'm just using a bit of hairspray here because I'm gonna put a white border around the whole image and give it that real kind of graphic look so just using the fat marker I just very very carefully try and get the a nice neat line the whole way around This should give it kind of more graphic design look, which I, I really like. And then I'll put, I think there's too much black in the foreground. So I just want to put a few kind of ink drips so that the kind of background is kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of coming forward, you know? And I think I achieved this quite well by just kind of, I don't know, just running some ink drips. But overall, super happy and I really appreciate everyone taking the time out to watch this video. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, give us a subscribe and also go back and watch some of the previous videos. I do go into a lot of detail on kind of blending techniques. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video. One love.